Odin School is an upskilling platform where we help people get into these cutting edge uh, areas of you know data science, full stack development and fulfill their ambitions. So we really work closely with students by offering live online classes along with a lot of practice and you know industry interaction where students get that real edge to get into the industry and uh, we get the job ready. We kind of come in uh, in a way to fill the gap as, as they say. So industry has certain requirements, especially in these areas, which are not necessarily either fully fulfilled or people have already completed their graduation long time back, or maybe they are coming from a very different background and are looking to get into this. So we are sort of an open platform which encourages people from different walks of life, not just people who just graduated right now and uh, you know get into these areas so that's precisely the role that we play most of the times it's people who have graduated who come to our platforms typically people are looking to get into the industry these are serious commitments that are expected from students because our program is quite rigorous so they have to almost do it like you know uh, they are fully committed of course they are probably doing a job or you know maybe they are into something else but they give it all the due uh, commitment and attention Firstly, we don't, uh, you know, make job the only thing, you know, for our program. We are very clear about uh, making this, uh, you know, not a job guarantee program or something. So firstly, we don't fall into the trap of, you know, having to, uh, you know, somehow manage a job and all of that. Rather, we focus on genuine upskilling. And the way we do that is by working very closely with our industry partners who tell us which are the skills that are actually in demand, what are the practices that they follow when they actually deliver their clients' projects, and the exact toolkit that they use. And we try and replicate it as much as we can. Uh, obviously, you know, we tone it down sometimes to make sure that you know, it's learning friendly, but otherwise we try and stay true to that purpose. And in that process also, we make sure there is a lot of rigor in terms of the practice the student puts in. So just to give you an example, our classes are not very much you know, a one-way street. So we may teach a concept for 20% of the time, but the remaining time is spent in the student actually doing a task and getting it validated and then the instructor actually giving a solution, which is a model solution. But again, we don't pretend you know, that it's the best solution. We encourage the discussion, is this the best solution? Can I solve it in a different way? What are the pros and cons? Now, if you look at the industry requirements, that's the exact mindset they want to have in their candidates, you know, that they are hiring. So that's kind of, you know, where we uh, kind of you know stay true to our beliefs i don't want to speak so much about competition or you know what others are doing this is actually what we do we believe in throwing the student into the pool on day one <laughs> uh, not necessarily to let them drown but you know make sure that they actually understand what it feels like to be in there get those errors now when you actually trying these uh, you know whether it's python or uh, react js it's very common for people to see a lot of errors and the life that they are going to live for the next 10, 20 years that they are going to spend in here is going to be full of these errors and you know, getting used to that, figuring out uh, a problem solving approach that suits them. You know, it could be about going and you know, looking up Stack Overflow or some other place, but that's their life. They have to be used to that and uh, that's what we get them used to. We uh, don't pretend to know everything and uh, you know we don't really take our own curriculum like you know, it's written in stone. We understand that there are changes happening outside and we have to update our curriculum to suit those needs. So if you look at our curriculum, there are some things which are like the very foundations and that is the core of our program. So that doesn't change very often and these are things that people have to learn anyway to kind of stay uh, afloat in the market. But we also have these electives or add-ons that we keep on bringing based on where we see the trends happening. That's the first part. But the second part, which is more important, is we actually teach them how to learn as well. Because we can't just keep giving them fish, we have to also teach them fishing. So that's where we also put a lot of effort because it's not like, you know, whatever we teach is going to support them forever. They have to continue the habit of learning and stay at uh, whatever is the latest uh, you know trend or technology 
So that's a habit that we kind of inculcate in them. Now the kind of people we work with, these are mostly people who are working in these technologies right now. So a lot of them freelance because they have a passion to teach and genuinely they face a shortage of talent themselves. These are probably people who are uh, you know working as managers in different companies or you know uh, doing these projects themselves and they treat these people who are our students as probably you know their juniors or you know people who want to kind of uh, do well and uh, you know can leverage their advice so that's the kind of people we bring into the program and uh, as you can see you know they have the wherewithal and you know they also understand what is exactly required to get in and importantly survive in the industry two programs at this point uh, the first program is in the field of data science and uh, this program basically covers uh, right from the scratch you know people don't necessarily need to come from a computer science background or a statistics background everything is taught from scratch and this program runs for 6 months and uh, you know they have overall a 2 years of uh, support in terms of career services you know the preparation they need to actually get into these industries and uh, the cost is uh, you know about 1 lakh rupees plus gst but there are attractive scholarships that students can take advantage of the second program uh, full stack uh, web development and uh, this program focuses both on front end and back end uh, again it teaches most in demand skills like react js where if you see there are a ton of opportunities and again this is a 6 month program very similar to data science and similar pricing and uh, again there are uh, scholarships available